Okay. Hi there, this is Two Wheels Big Life, and I'm Chris. And I'm Rich. We're getting ready to... No, we're not getting ready to leave Red River, because obviously you can see we are back home. We're back home. But, in this video, we're getting ready to yes. leave Red River behind us and start wake making our way north. All the way up to Silverton. We're making it to Silverton today. That's what's going to be on this route. If you are ever in the Red River area, we highly recommend that you go and check out the Aspen Park Guest Ranch. You don't have to stay in the funky little cabin that we did that they haven't renovated It's not yet. renovated and it's floor slope. Yeah, they have a couple cabins that they have renovated. They're right on the river. It is an awesome place. We highly recommend it. Go check them out. As a motorcyclist, you know how fun it is to ah. meet up with other people who ride. And that's yep. exactly what we're gonna do. Highway 64. The awkward part was pulling in and getting <laughs> off our bikes, our yeah, heavily... Our big, our big beast of bikes, <laughs> pulling a trailer with all kinds of gear. Heavily laden. Yeah. And then they've got these two awesome, cute, hot rod... Cute. Motorcycles. They're really not cute. Well, cute cute's, a, cute's, cute's a girl term. <laughs> Girl. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, uh, we have a Triumph Bonneville, the, is one bike, and the other one is a replica of the 1972 Paul Smart bike. Meeting up with, meeting up with them and we're gonna do Highway, Highway 64 through, um, Tia, Tres Piedras to Tierra Maria. If you're ever in Northern New Mexico, we have an awesome route for you, Highway 64, Starting, you can start at Taos, but yeah, that's kind of yeah. But yeah. that's kind of yeah, it's the it's the Mesa. But starting in Tres Piedras, oh, Tres Piedras, <laughs> we're going to Tres say. Piedras. Okay, what he said. Starting there, it is a beautiful, isolated road all the way to Tierra Amaria. Yep, I said that right. And into Chama. Yeah. So basically, if you're looking at the map, you need to look at the map. Look at the from between Taos and Chama. That's Highway 64, it goes over the Royal Gorge and uh, goes through Tres Piedras and Tierra Maria, it goes, winds all through there. It's it's really a beautiful road. You really need to ride that road if you're in Northern New Mexico. Yes, it has big sweeping curves, so it doesn't have a, it doesn't have any tight curves, but they're big sweeping mm, curves. Fast, so you're, you're fast up, curves, yeah, that's what I like about them. Yes, you're up in the mountains, you've got the Ponderosa Pine, it smells great, and it's a, it's an isolated route. There's not a lot of cars. Basically, we saw more, more um, motorcyclists and bicyclists on yeah. that route. There's lots of turnoffs that you can take. I highly recommend that you pack a picnic lunch that some of these turnoffs have picnic tables overlooking these sweeping views of valleys you will love it it looks it overlooks the the chama river valley so chama you you're up here at tierra me uh up at tierra maria and you're looking out over chama looking off into northern car southern colorado it's a beautiful beautiful road
friend, or new friends, left us. Yeah. <laughs> We're on uh, 64. 64 heading to Chama, then to Bogosa Springs, Durango, and then Silverton. And Highway 64, when you get to the top, it's called Brazo Summit. It is about 10,500 feet around there. So you get to Brazo Summit. From there, you get back on Highway 64, and you're going to chug on through towns. You're going to go through Tierra Maria. Yeah, go you're through Chama, Chama. Chama. You'll go into Pagosa Springs, and then Pagosa Springs to Durango, and then Durango to Silverton. Yes. Yep. And the route from Durango to Silverton, you do not want to miss. That is, we originally thought it was the million, the whole thing was called the Million Dollar Highway. It is not, but it is an awesome route. They have great um, turns, no yeah. guardrails, mm -hmm. kind Beautiful. of freaky. It's freaky, yes. But you yeah. get to the top, before you get to Silverton, you get to Mullis Pass. Be sure to stop in and pull that's, off. That's another one with fantastic views. Just a million there. Wow. That's all we kept saying. Yes. And that was just the beginning. Yeah. From Molas Pass, Silverton is only five miles away, but it is five miles of S curves, steep descent, yeah, tight really... corners. It's um it's fun. <laughs> yeah. It's a really fun road. It's really tight, but you can see it from the top of Molas Pass. You can see um you can see Silverton from there, but it's it's a real twisty road. It's a fun road. cold weather no i knew the warm clothes would come in oh handy. yeah we're gonna be cold tonight but that's all good we're denting Silverton, Colorado, founded in 1874. It's not a rough and tumble town? No, you're gonna love this town. It, it, if you're not looking for a lot of amenities and everything, it is, it's very rustic, I guess yeah. is what I would call it. There is one street, Green Street, it's a one way in, one way out street. It is the only paved street in the town. And the ATVs and UTVs and OHVs and whatever Everything. acronym Jeeps, is out there. All the big Jeeps, everybody all jacked <laughs> up. There is there's more off-road vehicles than there are people in that town. Yes. Yeah, there's also there's there are hotels, uh, little rustic hotels that are right off of Green Street, and that you can find uh, on the blog at this at our website also that has a list of all the stuff that we have. Yeah, we didn't stay we at didn't we didn't stay at any, but I did research them and I put some information in there. I think one of the hotels used to be a brothel, so if you're into that kind of thing, go check it out. Um, we missed it. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't go to the brothel. We didn't. <laughs> no, there, you didn't. There's also what. <laughs> I missed that one too. <laughs> After picking up groceries, we made our way to our campsite and settled in for a couple days. And I was really hungry. 
<laughs> it was like starving. I when we were in the grocery store, I, that we we found two pound a two pound steak. I wanted to buy two because I wanted one steak to myself. But Richard talked yeah, me out of it. <laughs> two pounds. I was hungry. Don't do what we did. Um, do a little advance planning. Right. We called several campgrounds. They were full. We did manage to find one. It's a UTV resort because you can bring your own. You know, you know, there were huge trailers there, dragging massive trailers with four or five UTVs. And we camped. Bina's right along the Animus River. Right here. I can't. I won't be able to get it out. I'm pushing it out. You can back it up. Why not right here? This is a good spot. Perfect. <laughs> Leave it there then. <laughs> We're at Silverton, Colorado, and we're at our campsite right next to the Animus River. So the river is this way, and the graveyard is that way. <laughs> you can see it in the sun. <laughs> I feel nice and cozy. There we are. In. Two pounds steak and vegetables for dinner. And we're going to eat it all. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions about Silverton or Highway 64, please put it in the comments. Yeah, we'll get back with you. Yep. And we'd love to hear from you. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button, ring the Thumbs bell, up. honk your horn, whatever you want to do. What all that stuff is. And we hope to see you down the road. All right. Thanks. Keep the shiny side up. <laughs>